Lord give you your sin, you're going to hell. You go to the lake of fire. Me. Somebody wins, somebody loses. What will it be like for you in the day of judgment? In the day of judgment, you are a loser if you're outside of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, come follow me. He said, if you would follow him, put your faith and trust in you, you can have eternal life. You can have your sins washed away, forgiven. That's why right. cast as far as the east is from the west to remember of no more. You know, as long as you continue in your sins, you're going to die in your sin and go to hell. You need to repent of your sin and call upon Jesus Christ. Hey, you seek after all the wickedness in this world. You seek after the fornication, lying, It doesn't matter what your sin is. The point is, you're a sinner before God. And you need to uh, be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. He that hath the Son hath life. If you don't have the Son of God, you are dead in your trespasses and sin. And the sentence of your sin is eternal damnation. You're going to lose. I don't care how well you play life. You can play life well. Hey, the other team played well tonight. But they won. you're still going to lose because you're a sinner before God. You've broken God's law. You've lied. Just lying breaks God's law. He said if you offended one point of the law, you're guilty of all the law. And God said that all has sinned and come short of the glory of God. You have come short of the glory of God, meaning you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. And you'll go to hell. You don't have a promise of tomorrow. You don't have a promise of another year. You don't have a promise of another moment. You may have an aneurysm in a moment. And you'll go Give us a song. in the grave straight to hell because you rejected Jesus Christ. That's right. It doesn't matter how you play life. You can play life morally or immorally. But you are, you are in damnation because you have rejected Jesus Christ. Hey, maybe you've not made a decision on Christ. That's as good as nothing. That's as good as spitting in the face of God. That's as good as saying no to God. You know, there's one sin not forgiven in this world and the world to come, and that is the rejection of Jesus Christ. You reject Jesus Christ, he's going to cast you into hell. He said you reject Jesus Christ, he's going to laugh at you when you're in your derision. When you're screaming like a woman because of judgment. The judgment says, hey, you're a sinner and you're going to go to hell. And you're in fear. God said in the last days you're going to see hey, the rocks of hell. The Bible says you're going to see that. You're going to see that. And yet, you fall in the damnation of hell. Wake up! Wake up! Because judgment is coming your way. Judgment's coming your way. And that judgment is going to be a judgment that is going to be an eternal judgment. the fucking love! It's going to be an eternal judgment that places you in a place called hell. Why? Because God... 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 Jesus Christ. 
He said there's coming a day when you're going to seek after the Lord and you're not going to find him. Why? Why won't you find him? Because the judgment has already been set. That's why there's coming a day when the day of forgiveness will be closed. The day will be closed. And it will be ever too late for you. And your judgment is going to be in the future. You shall suffer. You shall suffer.
Don't go way out there, though. Stay right here. Well, there seems to be an issue. The issue is, are you on the winning team or the losing team? Amen? Okay. Well, there is a game in life. There's a game in life. There's a winner and a loser. The winner will go to heaven. The loser will go to hell. But God says that all have sinned and come short the glory of God. So you're a loser. We're all losers in the game of life because we have sinned against God. Amen? So it doesn't matter how well you play. It doesn't matter how long you play. You're going to die. It doesn't matter if it's a long life, short life. God says the pleasure of your life is but for a short season. And then you're going to find death. And then you're going to find judgment before a holy and a righteous God. And when you stand before that holy and righteous God, you'll not proclaim a score. You'll not proclaim a finish. You'll proclaim bowing on your knee and your tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's what you'll do before you're cast into hell, fire. Because God has said, lest you repent, you shall all likewise perish. So unless you repent of your sin, the sin that you've sinned against God, and every sin is against God. So if you don't repent of your sin, then you say no to God. You spit in God's face. You kick at God. You punch at God. And you live your life for your selfish self. And you'll end up in death and hell. So we come here tonight, mate, to tell you that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no man come unto the Father but by Him. And unless you miss that game, then you'll be in the game of life that leads straight to hell. Lucifer is the father of lies. He's a deceiver. He's called the devil. He's the one that you say you're going to go and have